live and local, and the only station that brings you breaking news when it happens. News Radio 1080 KRLD. The ragweed season is upon us. It gives us a chance to tell the world we're number one. <laughs> to explain, Dr. Rajiv Pundit on the KRLD Newsline. Dr. Pundit is an ENT specialist at Methodist Dallas Medical Center. It is definitely going to be a bad one. In fact, right now we are ranked number one in the country, but not for a good thing. It's because we are number one in ragweed. And it is going to be bad because it is uh, warm and it has rained. And when you have a warm climate with recent rain and uh, with the general warming epidemic with, with climate, uh, ragweed season gets longer and it gets more severe. So, yes, it will continue to be a bad season. So we need to be prepared. All right. It started uh, basically mid-August. But when we talk about ragweed, what are we talking about? So ragweed is actually a plant that uh, is a very, there's 17 different varieties, but the, what you need to know is that one plant, even one plant can produce up to 1 billion, not million, but 1 billion pollen grains over the course of a pollen season. And they can travel up to, they've been detected as far away as 400 miles out to sea and uh, two miles up in the atmosphere. So it is something that can cause a lot of inflammation and releases histamine in the body, which can cause all sorts of problems. I'm hearing and reading that this may be around until mid-October unless we get an early freeze, which is, it seems unlikely at this point. That is correct. It will be around uh, for uh, till mid-October. And until that time, um, a lot of people that did very well over the summer all of a sudden realize that they are having nasal congestion, sore throat, post-nasal drip, and just in general feeling fatigued. And if you develop those symptoms, uh, many people initially think they have a cold. But if it lasts for more than a week, then it is ragweed allergy. And what do we do about it? You're, I mean, you're the doctor, and hey, it hurts when I do this. So what do we do? <laughs> so the first thing to do is try to get a, understand the pattern. If this happens to you every fall, prevention is always the best medicine. So the first thing to do is start taking an antihistamine. There are many available over the counter. The popular brands such as Claritin, Allegra, or Zyrtec, or their generics are all very effective. But they need to be taken regularly. And in addition to that, I usually recommend a nasal spray spray. Uh, there's, again, many allergy nasal sprays available that previously used to be prescription, but are now over the counter. But it's something as simple as just cleaning your nose out with a saline irrigation. Um, there's many products available over the counter or getting an air filter. Uh, basic things like that can also make a difference. And mountain cedars are right around the corner. That is right. Uh, when you live in Dallas, you definitely enjoy the nice weather, but you also enjoy year-round allergies for many people. And mountain cedar, for some, is just as bad, if not worse, than uh, ragweed. And in fact, while the rest of the country is usually doing better because of the frost, uh, we are still uh, one of the top three uh, cities in the country for pollen in the winter. Yeah, and Mountain Cedar is about to come. Dr. Pundit, Dr. Rajiv Pundit at the Methodist Dallas Medical Center. Florence has taken a deceptive turn as the days drag on. The violent winds have subsided, but the, the pounding rain has slowed, which has lulled many into believing they have already weathered the worst of it. But North Carolina's rivers are quietly rising. Authorities are rushing to coax people out of their homes and the evacuation zones before those floodwaters begin to rush in. It's 124.